hello 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 oh welcome back to another american truck simulator video um today i know it's not going to be out on time but there should be one out today the 12th of march um but other than that from the last episode uh pretty much we're on 58,000 uh, 58,960 dollars and we're still working our way up to buy our own truck so we're just going to the job market we'll get a quick job something out of a truck and uh, we'll go somewhere new so we'll go from Las Vegas to where should we go to I don't want to go to Kingman We'll go Las Vegas to Cedar City and an international. And we're taking sugar, or 24,000 pounds of sugar to be exact. Alright, here we are in our international. It's going to be a day cab with a small, I'm going to guess 28 foot trailer. We just turn that off. Um, but yeah, here it is. Fire it up. Turn the lights on. Um, turn you to the digital. And we'll go ahead and get on out of here. But before we do get on out of here, we'll just stop here and we'll just grab a quick screenshot and then we'll be back in a minute. Alright, so now that we're back, we'll go ahead and get on out. Oh, we've discovered a recruitment agency apparently, so I'm going to get to, oh yeah, there it is. Drive, drive a staffing area, so uh, we'll go ahead and... Be careful on getting out of here. Yep, nobody's coming. It's only a 28 foot trailer, so we don't need to take the turns wide. Speed limit is 45 or 35 now. So this job is approximately going to take us 2 hours and 42 minutes and 139 miles. So we should we should get there in the early hours of the morning. I'm not sure if we're able to turn right on right in Las Vegas. We'll try it though. I guess we are. So what we'll do is, I guess we'll do a full loop, but we'll continue down here. We'll go to Cedar City just to explore more of the map and explore into Utah. So. But new things, I've not really got anything new to add apart from when we do buy our truck. It's most likely going to be the Camel T600 since it's kind of, it looks like an old truck. But don't get me wrong, it looks pretty nice. Go ahead and move into the fast lane here since we're going to be turning. But yeah, it looks pretty nice. So, and then after that. Obviously, if we go to buy another truck, uh, I'll let you guys choose what we go with. But that can be any type of truck. I might think about adding some more um, truck mods to the game, but we'll just have to see. So if we just wait for the lights to turn green, that will be great. There we go, lights green, off we go. Speed, since we're still technically in our city, it's 35, so. We're not going to be getting that too quick just yet, but we will get there eventually.
and again, like I said, I'm sorry that this video didn't go out when all when it normally does. Jesus, when it normally does, I've just honestly not been feeling it for the past couple of days. But we should be getting on track soon. Harmon Avenue run. Interesting. Uh, surprise. To say you did the early hours of the... Jesus, how close do you want to be? Can... Jesus Christ. Like I was saying, to say it's the early hours of the morning, or going to be going into them, surprisingly there's not a lot of traffic on the road. Even though I believe I have a modding game which is realistic traffic or something so I don't know if this is reali uh, realistic for Las Vegas but hopefully we can make these green lights so we have to sit through another red yeah we'll create the 34 And again, the FOV not going to change until we buy our first truck, so. Now the guy wants to try to overtake. Jesus Christ. Did that say a truck wash? Yeah, truck wash. Damn, only if we could actually use them. And only if our like, vehicles are dirty and everything. But hopefully one day, but we'll just have to do what we have for now since the game's been out for quite a while. Go ahead again onto the 50 North. Speed limit is 75, so it shouldn't be too long. And we'll get over since we're not taking the exit to Eli. Exit 64. Well, I think that I could talk about really. Um, the main thing I like about the game is obviously the different states and everything and how each one is developed in its own type of way so it actually represents the state. But more or less the scenery for ATS is great and it's probably one of the best things about ATS. But I know they're doing a rework on California and everything, so hopefully when that comes out, it should be a great rework. To say we're going 70 mile an hour, it doesn't really feel that much. Just use our jig brake or engine brake for fifty to get to fifty five. Since they want us to take these corners at fifty five just for precaution. I'm sorry if this video is shorter than the rest, I won't know until at the end, but I'm sorry if it's a lot shorter. Try to overtake the truck if, no, nope, they're not going to let us pass, that's great. They're not going to let us pass, you're just going to stay there. 
I know we have a small trailer, but that doesn't really look... Alright, now I'll try it. Hopefully, he, he's gonna slow down. Okay. So, it was technically pointless to be in the fast lane then, since we can't overtake this truck now. Here we go, if we put our foot down, and you know, if we've got a smaller trailer, we should, and the keyword is should, be able to get it in front of the pre-pass site. Oh, never mind, we have to pull into the way station. So I guess we don't have a pre-pass then. Have to pull into the port of entry. 15 mile an hour, we'll try and slow down the best we can do, but we'll keep some speed so we can keep it rolling. Stop at the truck scale ahead and activate the icon to submit to an inspection. Okay, we'll do. And if we just stop turn you off and submit to the inspection we're at 51,007 pounds thank you for your cooperation another thing I might do is turn off the like when that thing keeps popping up because it, it kind of gets irritating Right, there's a truck coming, but we should get out in front of it. And if he does want to overtake, he should he'll go into the quick lane and overtake us. Or the fast lane, whatever you want to call it. I just realised there's a lot of billboards here in St. George. We've discovered St. George, so... I'm going to guess that was the way station for the border of Utah and uh, Nevada. This will be all in the night, so we will get to see the night time scenery. So. Live here, eat free. Suits for rent. Hmm. Interesting. Dixie State University at the next exit. St. George Boulevard in half a mile. Why are you all stopping? I hate that. That's one thing with ATS that I hate. It when everybody slows down from 70 to like 40 I know you need to take the exit but just don't slow down in the lane of travel Hurricane one mile I don't think that's the exit we're taking. No, we're staying on by the looks of that. Yep, we're staying on. So we have 46 minutes left of the journey. 33 miles, so we should be there relatively soon. We just get over and let them all in. See, that's what I wish everybody would have done. Well, the AI is scripted, so... But we're not scripted like that. I think we're pulling a hill. 
because we're kind of losing speed and my foot is to the floor. So I think we're on a slight gradient. Speed limit will drop down to 75, yep, and we're in Cedar City. We need to take the exit. A bit late of an exit, but it'll do. Yep, we're clear. Like, things like this, they, they are confusing. I know they have arrows on the floor to show you where to go, but they're just confusing. Like why not just have straight roads? Why have so many twists and turns? Engine 4. Yeah, we've only got a small trailer, so we should be able to make that's fine. And nobody's coming off that exit. Alright, they did that have to wait for us anyway. And we're back in a city. Damn, that fire engine took off. Now got the more horsepower. Both lanes merge into one, so. I'm gonna guess this is a newly paved road just due to how smooth it looks. But, I mean, roads don't. Roads don't really do any damage to vehicles anyway, but I wish one day, I wish if you you could either like brake an axle or an awesome in your truck, but if we slow it down, train ain't coming, so when we turn in anyway, just look both ways, now the train's coming, so it's a good thing we got out of the way. And then if we turn in here, should pack up, and then I, and then we should have completed our job. Train ain't coming, is it? No. Okay, maybe it was a different track. If we just stop. Yep, we're at the deliver. We've got all the paperwork. Thank you. We just turn on our hazards, and I presume in every, in most truck yards it's like 10 to 15 mile an hour, so we'll keep it between 10 and 15 if we can do. Oh, we're parking next to the Home Depot trailer. Oh yeah, we also have real company trailers, um, real companies, and I believe. So, why do you want it? Yeah, you want it directly next. All right. So to say we're only a 28 foot trailer, it shouldn't be that bad at reversing, so we shouldn't need to pull up all the way. So if we just pull up here, put it into reverse. And the thing I found out, the smaller the trailer, the more harder to back up it is. I don't know if that's for anybody else, but that's for me. If we just get under it now. 
To be fair, I say that. Actually, I'm not going to jinx myself. Yeah, no. We're... If we would have need to do at least one pull up, make sure that they don't tie her on the line. And then if we just get under it and straight back, try and keep the tires on the line if we're able to. There we go. And then just straight back. That side looking clear. So it's this one. Uh, I want to see if they're going to let us bump the dock, but I don't know if we're able to. Are we able to bump the dock? Uh, yep, yeah, yes we are. So, what we'll do, put the window up, put it in neutral. Parking brake on. There we go, that's what it looks like. I mean, we could have done more to the right, but at the end of the day, it, it is what it is and it's good. So if we turn the engine off, we'll decouple the trailer. So we got excellent sugar delivered from Las Vegas to Cedar City. 136 miles driven distance. Time taken 12 to 51 minutes. Fuel consumed 28.8 gallons. Base reward for 136 miles is $1,967. 220 XP. Proficiency bonus level 5 is plus $80, trailer maneuver bonus plus 40, so that will bring us to a total of $2,047 and 260 XP. We're still a level 5 and enthusiast, so we've got a bit of a way to go to level 6. But we're still rating 2.5. And we finish on $61,009. So, see you in the next one. The next the next one may be, we might be buying our own truck. It just depends. But other than that, peace out. I'll see you in the next one.